So let's go now to SketchUp Pro environment and after installing and that extension you'll see five new toolbars over here. Additionally, you can find all the comments within extensions and that and over here. Within and that project management toolbar, you can now open already created project or create new one. So for all users that are new to Ended software, firstly, you need to create new project. And after clicking on create new, and that will prompt a message saying that you do not have an that indexer installed. And that's absolutely fine because you're a new user and you need to install on that indexer. So that's basically uh, a standalone application that creates in that project. Just click on download, download it and install it. After installation of an that indexer, you're able to create new project. In this dialog, choose your project type. It depends on the point cloud data that you want to bring in. As mentioned previously, and that supports numerous file types. You can even combine several file types from different sources into one project. Just choose the file type that you're going to bring in, or simply browse for the file and it will be read automatically. Click on Create Project icon in order to proceed indexing. If you want to know more about point cloud indexing and in the data structure, check out our YouTube channel and find a video tutorial with the name point cloud indexing. So now, after we have indexed several projects, let's open some. Take a look into this point cloud. This is an old Japanese hut. Looking really good in SketchUp. Take a look into these tools in that project management. Move point cloud and rotate point cloud. This means that you can change your point cloud position. Let me move it a little bit to the right and rotate it slightly. It means that you can fit your point cloud to the existing 3D model. In fact, I have a 3D model of this Japanese head derived in that for SketchUp. If you click on Restore Coordinates, it will come back to the initial coordinate system. Let's take a look into that clipping box. Resize, move and rotate. So if you click on one of them, it will highlight the initial clipping box, which is to the view set, to the extents of the point cloud. You can easily use the scale tool to isolate a particular area of interest and if you want to isolate it within the clipping box just turn on this button clip on clip. So when the button is on you can interactively resize the clipping box and the point cloud is going to be reloaded automatically and dynamically like this. You can also use move tool or rotate tool and again if you want to restore your clipping box just click on the reset button and your clipping box is going to come back to the initial size to the point cloud extends. Let's have a look now into a bigger project. This project consists of 120 scan locations collected with terrestrial scanner and 30 gigabytes of data in disk and the majority of scans are collected within this old house over here inside of it. And let's say that we want to isolate a particular area of interest. Shall we do the same way as in previous project and rescale the initial clipping box? We could, but there is a faster way. We can create new clipping box. Let me quickly zoom in and let's isolate this building. You see, I'm just clicking and dragging and defining a new clipping box. And again, you can move it around 
or rescale this nucleopin box to meet your needs. Say like this. If we're gonna click on uh, reset, we're gonna come back to the initial clipping box once again. Okay, let's have a look into some different coloring options that Undead offers. The coloring toolbars are over here, so we're now coloring by intensity. We can also color by natural colors or simply by RGB. And as you see, only several scan locations were collected with pictures. The majority of scans inside this building are without pictures, therefore we see black point cloud. We can also color point cloud by height. As you see, now we color it by height. We can call out settings, a separate dialog for coloring settings, and we can change different coloring bands. Let's say this one. Here we go. We have now a different coloring by height. We can also change uh, coloring bands for intensity values. Let's see this one. We can color point cloud by black and white color. Let's have a look from the top. And we can also manage transparency. Let's change it to close value to 90%. And as you see, looking from the top, we can clearly see the structure of this house. Almost the plan drawing. Let's come back to natural colors. Come back to the initial transparency of zero. We can also change point point size. Let's increase this to value of three. And as you see, it might clarify you the view in some particular places. Let's have now a look into undead snapping options. So undead offers to snap you to the point cloud points. Let's snap a little bit. Let's see. Let's snap to this one. Let's hit to this one. You can also draw a line while dynamically snapping to point cloud points. Like this. There is one very nice feature that allows you to snap your axis to point cloud. So at the beginning you need to click on the point cloud, it will snap the point, and then you can snap the axis, and let's say align it to meet your needs. And this will help you further in modeling with SketchUp. Let's model a little bit. Let's draw this elevation, at least part of it, like this. I could do it better, but just quickly for demonstrational purpose. And let's push and pull it. There's one more feature in it that allows to uh, isolate your point cloud by a selection. So we just selected this brand new 3D solid we can click now over here, new by selection, and turn on the clipping box, of course. So, and that will isolate only the point cloud around the selected 3D solid. In the similar way, if we would select only the face of SketchUp, 
and again click by new by selection it will isolate the point cloud around the face there is one more coloring option we didn't talk in this video it's coloring by plane let's click on it and we need to go into coloring settings and select the plane which is SketchUp face and let's choose this plane here we go this is our coloring by by the selected plane you can switch planes and invert coloring up like this the previous was a better example let's draw a little bit over here let's see over here and let's push and pull these windows You can anytime hide and, and hide your point cloud like this. Additionally, you have other density settings. Let's click over here. And two quick buttons to meet high performance so it will automatically uh, reduce uh, density settings to mean high performance and to meet high visibility of details it will automatically increase density settings to mean high visibility of details so let's quickly turn on coloring by um, by natural colors maybe let's come back to the initial bounding box and uh, Let's quickly click on high visibility. See, it increased automatically visibility. At the same time, your performance might decrease a little bit. So mine, mine, mine performance has decreased a little bit. It's now a little bit laggy. You can even more now increase the density. and uh, it becomes even more laggy so be aware of it you have to trade between visibility and performance so sometimes you should better isolate a particular area of interest and increase uh, visibility only within the smaller area but anytime you can come back to the high performance mode which will automatically decrease density and again you're going to have flawless performance I think it's enough for starter. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you liked it. Please visit our website www.undead.com. And while you are there, why don't you download a free trial of our software?